Just a lot of a lot of nightmares for parents, and that's one of them. Yeah, I was just thinking. I'm like, is mine front or is top? Right. You know, mine's top. So unless they get on the ladder, then. But that that like, could happen. That could, I was gonna say, don't put it past They're two a kid and a half, with time on their hands. Right? Yeah, I've seen them. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So, <laughs> Digress. Uh, a little bit cooler today. A little bit cooler. Is that a... Yeah, by two, three degrees. Okay. You know, some... Yeah, it depends on where you are. There are some valley temperatures right now that are only 89 degrees. So that's significant compared to the upper 90s that we had yesterday. 88 right now in Vancouver. It's clear. Not a cloud in the sky there. At the coast, that's where we're starting to see those clouds. Bend, 92 Clear skies, Skamania Lodge, 88 degrees. So even here, an example of where your temperatures are about five or six degrees cooler. Lincoln City, 71. Some of our coastal temperatures are up a few degrees, but guess what? We're adding to the mix more clouds. So sometimes that acts as a trap for the heat. So let's take a look at conditions so far. We're on day six of temperatures 90 plus. Our forecast high for today for PDX is about 92 degrees, so that puts us at day number six because we've already hit that 90 degree mark. Your temperature is a little bit further out to the east. Pendleton just under 100, as well as Bend, Redmond, 90 in Eugene. It's 61 at Newport, 91 right now at Salem. So compared to 24 hours ago, you're seeing small differences compared to where you are in the valley, about five or six degrees cooler. But you can see out towards eastern Oregon, you're about 16 to 18 degrees hotter. It remains hot there. Hence the red flag warning that's in effect. That continues until 8 o'clock tonight because of gusty winds, low relative humidity, and those temperatures in the upper 90s. Coastal forecast for you tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning, you're waking up to mostly cloudy skies. Your temperatures will be right around 57 to 58. Daytime highs after you get partial clearing in the afternoon and we'll get up to about 63 and seaside. So day to day, we haven't seen too many big changes with our temperatures at the coast. Tillamook, you'll likely get up to about 70 degrees with more sunshine in the mix, not as close to the coastline there inland, just a few miles. Inland valleys tomorrow morning, if you're right around Salem to the north, you're likely to wake up to cloudy skies. Your temperatures overnight a little bit cooler compared to what we had the night before. So McMinnville waking up to about 53 degrees and end up with a high of 85 degrees. So daytime highs will be just a little bit warmer on the southern end of the valley where you're lacking the cloud coverage in the morning. But further to the north where you get more of that marine influence, your daytime highs will be reflected in the low 80s and 76 for a high for you in Kelso. Madras tomorrow morning. Waking up to temperatures in the upper 50s, daytime highs. We're still in the 90s, but at least we're at the lower end of the scale. So about 93 for a high tomorrow. Madras, Eastern Oregon temperatures from 90 to 95. Pendleton and through the gorge tomorrow morning, especially on the west end of the gorge, you might get a little bit of that marine influence to start you off. Temperatures in the morning, low 60s, daytime highs. Much more comfortable. 84 Cascade Locks and Hood River. The Dalles 92. Government Camp 70 degrees. Here's your seven day forecast. How long will the 80s last? At least until Saturday. And then that ridge of high pressure returns for us and says, oh, but July is not over with. We have more hot temperatures for you. Low 90s starting for us on Sunday, Monday up to 99, Tuesday 95. So you have some time to mentally prep, yes. prep the house, whatever you need to Catch do. Catch your breath. <laughs> yes. Restock the, the spray and all that the stuff. Spray. The spray? I don't know. The lotion. <laughs> the the non-heating spray. That the ice stuff. cubes. <laughs> Still to come tonight yes. after a woman survived a 250.